Here's Deshaun Palomo, the star running back, and I'm here with his father. So, uh, how long has he been doing this? He's been playing since he was five years old. Wow, you know, I had a I had a standout running back that played for Penn, oh. and he was uh, number tw 21 for Lake Travis, okay. and he played since he was five too. So I know the gig. There's yeah, a lot to it, isn't there? Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, he, he been, he's always been one of the smallest kids on all the teams he's played for, but he's always played big. How big is he? Uh, he's like five ten right now. Five ten, probably about 160 pounds. But he's really fast. So yeah, he runs a four four. A four four. Yeah. Nice. And he has 23 touchdowns, um, 18 receiving touchdowns, two passing touchdowns, two punt returns for touchdown, a kickoff return for touchdown. He has over 1,600 total yards. 1,600 total yards. How many touchdowns? 23. 23. Wow, that's doing really good. And he's a wide receiver. He's not a running back. He's a receiver. Oh, he's a receiver. Yeah, I'm a sorry. Receiver. Yeah. No, okay. no rushing touchdowns. Yeah, that's the receiver. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. No, no, no. You're okay. Uh, I tell a lot of people that it's harder for a receiver to put them kind of numbers up. Running yes. back didn't touch the ball a lot. He's only touched the ball 42 times this year. Yeah, it, it really is. Those are huge numbers. My my son was a standout running back, and he had 1,500 yards and 20 touchdowns. But he didn't go this deep in the playoffs. I know that gives you a little extra time to yeah. improve some yards. Yeah. yeah, he scored three touchdowns in the first playoff game. Uh, he, he had the winning touchdown last week against uh, Wasahatchee. Nice. Uh, Two minutes left in the game in the fourth quarter. He caught a 70 yard touchdown pass. Only, so, the only catch that we had for touchdown. So, who's he talking to in terms of offers? Uh, he has a lot of D, uh, D2 offers, no D1. I, I believe it's his uh, it's size that uh, everybody's worried about. Yeah. But um, they, haven't, they haven't you, seen Tyreek Hill, huh? These yeah. guys? <laughs> Prairie, Prairie View just hit him up recently, so hopefully, you know, maybe Prairie View bites him and gives give him a shot. Yeah, nice. So that's a lot of a lot of commitment as a parent, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And nice. Well, what, what's your name? John Palomo. John. Well, thanks, John, and have a great game, and I wish your son the best at the next level. All right. Thank you. Yeah. But they done needs three to, two touchdowns to tie the record at Westfield, and he needs three to break it, which is, um, is held by Tyree Cleveland. That plays for the Denver Broncos right now, so wow. hopefully, hopefully he can break it this, uh, tonight or this, this next couple weeks. So tell me about the quarterback. Is he fairly accurate? Oh, my God, he is. Uh, we've been playing with him since we were about seven or eight. Wow. So, you know, they have a very good connection. Um, they played middle school ball together. They played freshman year, and he went some, He went to Pine Oak, and he transferred to Westfield all his senior year. So, But they're, they're, they're very close. They're like brothers. So they go back a long way, even though the other transferred out for a while. Yeah. What's the QB's name and number? Do you know? Uh, P.J. Hatter, number seven. P.J.? P.J. Hatter. He has 51, Hatter. 51 touchdowns, uh, 3,300 3, yards passing and 700 yards rushing. And and who's talking to him in terms of offers? Uh, A&M is talking to him. I know Ohio State just reached out to him. Uh, he has a bunch of other, uh, he's probably got like, uh, I think seven or eight other offers, but I, I really don't know who they are. Well, my son, Abe, was on the same team as Garrett Wilson. You oh, probably yeah. heard that uh, name. <laughs> All right, well, I hope he breaks that record today. Hopefully, yeah. Thanks. Special welcome is extended to our friends from West. So here's Randy Martinez. He's the running backs coach here for Duncanville. Who's your main studs this year? Caden Durham, Caleb King, Caden Durham. Four-star running back, class 2024. Explosive kid, track kid. Nice. So uh, what kind of times he got in the 40? Times in the 40 KK, the you know, low 4-4, four, four, high 4-3. Four, uh, yeah, wow, high 4-3, yeah, 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 huh? Yeah, he had 10-4 kid. How big is he? He's, he's sitting about 5-9, five, 5-10. Five, yeah, 5-10, about 5-10, yeah. So are you alternating them some, the two that you mentioned? Kay, I mean, Kay, Kay don't get majority of the carries. Boss will come in, and Caleb Kendall will come in, probably get about eight carries or something. What year are both of them? Both, both uh, Caleb's a senior, so uh, but Kay's a junior. He's a what? Caleb is a junior. I mean, Caleb's a senior, and Caleb's a uh, junior. Nice. So how'd your last game go? So I thought you guys blew them out a bit. We blew them out. We just had a slow start offensively. But yeah. other than that, once we got started rolling, it was, it was good for me. What kind of offense do you run mostly? Is it a little bit of a West Coast offense or, it's, or it's, a lot it's, of running? It's a, hot, it's a heavy 11 personnel, 12 personnel for the most part. We're going to stay with a tight end in the game. We're going to run the ball. We're going to head out. Yeah. I know you've always had a great line. The, the last game I filmed, 
all, all of them were up around 300 pounds. Do you have a super big line again this year? Yes, sir. We have a, we have a not as big in the past, but we have a real gritty O line that's going to get out to you. Nice. I saw a little cross uh, shaped on your yeah. on your head there. I'm a believer. Is that, are you too? Yes, sir. I am. I, I get it because I'm superstitious as well. I've been having since the first game. We ain't lost, so I'm gonna get it every game. I'm gonna make sure I have it every game. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you didn't have it and you lost that game? No, no, we haven't lost yet, but I've had it every single game, so I'm not gonna stop doing it. Yes, sir. Wow, look at this, folks. Yes, sir. Uh, See, yes, he's uh, he's reflecting the glory of God, just like my channel endeavors to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, yes, Randy. Thank you. Well, it's a real nice afternoon for football. I'm guessing it's about possibly 55 degrees, maybe 65. Hey, welcome to the high-powered matchup between number three ranked in the whole USA, Duncanville, and number 17 in the USA, Spring Westfield. Now, Spring Westfield has proved to be a relentless group that have clawed their way back from every deficit. So don't let the disparity in rankings fool you. This is gonna be a high-powered game. Now the Westfield Mustangs school song, and this is the Mustang. That's number four that I interviewed his father. Let's go, PJ. Hey, remember that story? Let's get it, baby. Hold us up. Hold us up. Go eat, man. Mind in the game. Hold us up and eat. Every goddamn face. Hold us up and eat. Every goddamn face out of here. Come on. Let's go, Westfield. Get it locked in, man. Let's go, Westfield. Let's get it, child. Well, we didn't get the stealth bombers, but we got a helicopter flyby. for this afternoon.
And now, the Westfield Choir will perform our national anthem. standing as the colors leave the field. Well, that's something that one of the running backs for Duncanville is almost into the four threes. And Palama back to receive, he's a 4-4 guy. Close to breaking his school's record in all-time receiving. And so it begins, first and ten Westfield. Opening carry for Palama yields about five, and the reciprocal number for Duncanville is down. Number 21 for the carry, number 21 down. Got second and four. It's a fake. He's around the end. Somebody's angry. Somebody was quite irate. I didn't see what really drew people's ire, but maybe it was a late hit. First and 10 at about the 44. Uh oh! Oh, look at the size of that guy that jumped on him. Okay, we've got the whiteouts all set out. Number two. He breaks one, he breaks two, he's down to the 41. Westfield is moving the chains pretty easily so far. Nice finesse. Matter is a agile quarterback. That was a botched play, we'll see what the penalty is. So far, the penalties have favored Westfield. That's another five yards. There's Palomalo. He gets space. Around the edge, he maybe has about far. It's a passing set. He's in the shotgun. A lot of laundry on the field this afternoon. He's back, he's way back. Fires it to number 17. Not much there. Whoa, what a game tapper. Okay, we've got a big third and 11 and the wind is against them too. Think of that as you think of a field goal. Hey, he's got space. He's got the first down, maybe? Well, they're risking it all. Either that or trying to draw him offside. Oh, that was pretty! Whoa! Look at that big play. That was sweet. Uh-oh, they're...
there's a flag. What's it gonna be? That was one of the sweetest tricky plays I've seen. And I just don't know what the penalty is, but it looks like it could be against Spring Westfield. Oh no, it was after it was over, after they converted number 17. But they are giving him the first down. Little pushy shover. Well, did you guys enjoy that trick play? I've filmed a lot of games and I haven't seen that one. There are some giant linemen also for Spring Westfield, but with my media pass, I was able to go down there on the field and I would have to say the some of the DeSoto players look to have a slight weight advantage. Excuse me, Duncanville players. I got to film Duncanville and DeSoto. You might like that game. Whoa! They really sandwiched him hard. Big 55 Peters in on that play. Third and about 16. Back, under pressure, he's taken off, he's got a lane. He fires to a completely open Palomalo for the touchdown! Could come back to haunt him. Plenty of fire, plenty of laundry on the field. These are two fired up teams that want to move to the next level. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike and forced after the kickoff. This is the first game that I've done both live and a filmed version. And this is my live assistant, my lovely wife, Mary Jane Willows. Trip, he might be to the house. Whoa, that was too easy. That big Duncanville line cleared space. You could have driven a cement truck through. There's our score. Let's go! Mustangs take the field. Rolling to the left. He's got plenty of space. Oh man, he could have ran it for a 10 yard gain. Palama, although almost honing in on the record for the Mustangs, he's not all that big. He's about, um, as you heard his father say, about 5'10", 168. But he's got the hands. Again, the penalties are hurting the uh, Duncanville. Oh! 
third and six from the 20, 29, and a big third and about six. With the ease with which Duncanville drove the ball, one would have to think this very important. If this is the same guy that kicked that kickoff, he's got a heck of a leg. He booms a little bit of a shallow kick. Oh, that was a nasty hit. I hope he's okay. He is. Wow, that was a nasty hit because one jackknifed yeah, him the into part. the other. Vivian Blewett on the return. Once again, that was just too easy. That looked like a college back against the high school. It's uh, 14 to six. Let me see if I can get that replay. Sorry, I didn't catch that very well. We're also live streaming and I was multitasking and didn't catch that real well. We'll see if they'll show that extra. Duncanville on the board with 14. Let's go, Mustang! Whoa, what a running back, huh? Palamo. <laughs> He's broken the tackle. He's broken it free. One guy to beat. That's a way to answer, Palamo! Oh my God. Well, we've got a big third and 12. And with the ease with which Duncan Bull moves the ball, it is big. See if they can... Boy, they read that. Uh oh, the ball's out. A beautiful high spiraling kick. Not as good of a kick, but a really high kick. Good bounce for Westfield. Well, let's see if uh, Spring can figure out how to trip the guy or something. <laughs> I was able to interview the running backs coach for Duncanville and he was telling me about this back. This back is at least a 4-4 guy, almost a 4-3 guy. They got some fire. Well, they, they figured out how to stop him. Don't let him get going, I guess. What's that law of thermodynamics? An object that's in motion tends to stay in motion. Well, I guess they're trying to keep him from getting in motion. Wow, a third down, look at that. He's in motion to the left in the screen. Oh, he should have just kept running. Almost blocked! He'll just let it roll and roll and roll. What a roll! The wind was with it, clear down to the 11. There you go, come on, Todd! Elijah Wilson and James Adam made the stop. Look at big number 11, the uh, left tackle. Incredible size. There is a flag on the play. He did. He did uh, attempt to get rid of that pass. I don't know. Third down and ten. There's our score. First quarter almost out. And a big third down, uncomfortably close to their own end zone. Overthrown. There is laundry on the field. Is it roughing the passer? 
Indeed it was roughing the passer. Well, that's like having a new lease on life. It's what Christ can do in our life as well. Taji Atkins on the carry. He's back the right to him by number 11, Alex January. Okay, and a big three, third and 12 at about the 26 yard line. He's back, he likes to roll left. Throw right, he's got his back. Oh, they catch him in the backfield, nothing there. Well, this is a good punter and there's a little wind at his back. It should be a great punt. There's a big guy. Number nine, looks like he's about six, five. This punter has a great leg. Let's see what he can do. Beautiful. Oh, it nicely fielded. Oh, a good open field tackle by number 20, but a great job by the return man. Westfield's beginning to hone in on the place development better and they're catching him before he can get that breakout speed going. Beautiful play. Oh! They crunch in on him, but they can't stop him. He's clear down to the 16-yard line. Well, he looked like Lamar there, didn't he? He just uh, wouldn't be stopped by a couple of guys sandwiching him. He does kind of remind me of Lamar for the Ravens. Uh-oh, here's Mr. Speedy, but they get him. That nose tackle do right what to do. A gap is starting to close. There's a big guy too. Look at number 70 and 56. They make the Dallas Cowboy linemen look small. Second and 10. If Westfield has a hope, it's now. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. The freight train got behind him and just keeps pushing him forward. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the defender for Westfield had two guys on him and he reached out with his hand and caught the running back. It was really an incredible play on his part. But then the, the beef got behind the back and just pushed the scrum forward. There's a touchdown. Duncanville. That brings our score six to twenty, with eight twenty remaining in the half. I think some of you will see why Duncanville is the number seven ranked team in the whole USA. Back deep is Palalmo, and he almost took one to the house, but it was brought back as a hold or something. He'll have another chance. Nope. Oh, some great moves! He breaks three! Third of the 32. Those were some amazing moves. First and 10 from the 32, and he breaks loose for about three. I guess named Eckert or something like that. That would have been a good play because the wind is at the quarterback's back. They have 
Bob a heck of a putter though. Watch what he can do. Good return man though. He's a nifty. Oh! Uh oh. Got third and seven. I don't think he's got it. Caden Day on the K. Where's the flag on the play? Flag on the play, though. Okay, it was marching them way back. But they went ahead and declined it and opted for the fourth down. Oh! Oh, they got him! Well, Mustangs got a stroke of lady luck here. Oh no, the ball! Oh, I thought the ball almost was loose. Hey, beautiful running pass! Third out of the 26. Well, they need some points here. Run down by number 15, the Mother Spencer. <laughs> Seven yard gain. Let's go! Let's go! No! Play the game! There you go! All right, they're up to about the 21. The cap card. Cap card on the reception, pushed out of bounds. That'll be a quarterback keeper. He's up to about the 11. Six yard run, brings up second and four. He got a couple of it. How about bringing Fridge Perry in? They only need two. They'll go for two. Beautiful play! Whoa! What a tricky play gets him back into this thing. Beautiful resurgence for the Stangs. 14 21. Here in Georgetown. I thought they might, might show that beautiful two point conversion. Duncanville has a gutsy little return man, number three. Launches one deep. Oh! That was some good uh, quarterback play. Really good quarterback play. Corey and Moore are down after a tremendous hit. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Is that a concussion or what do we have here? Let's go, baby! My son played 17 seasons of football, including four for Penn. And as a running back, he got several concussions. It's always a rough moment for a parent to see. DeCorian Moore went up for a high ball and really got his legs taken out from under him and came down really hard. Third and ten, rolling to the right, fires 
it, but he didn't quite have a handle on the ball, the quarterback, and it, and it went errant. My impression of watching these two teams this year is that Duncanville is an extremely gifted team. I don't know how many D1 athletes they have on Duncanville, but a lot. Oh, it touched the guy! Oh my God, it touched the foot of, of the Westfield guy. First and 10 from the 42. One feels a possible momentum shift here. He gets about five. Looks like that may be a... Looks like a holding penalty against Westfield. That'll back him up 10. He shoots one out, out of bounds. I didn't film that very well for you. The quarterback was scrambling. He's in trouble. He heaves it clear down here. And when he did, there was a scuffle and some awkward positioning of bodies and the Westfield receiver is down. Here he's getting up. This quarterback really likes to roll left for some reason. He'll try to get it himself. He takes a hard hit. Slow in getting up. First out of bounds by 23, James Adams. He looks a little groggy. Funky little punt gets down about the 30, not 29. Sorry guys, I'm running a live feed too and uh, I didn't get back quite in time for you. Panthers on the march at about the 44. That's a tall quarterback, isn't it? There's that great running back. The first three carries went for a combined total of about 80 yards because they let him get, a, get up to his speed, but They've been a lot better at containing him before he breaks, gets into that breakneck speed that he has. Nicely developed screen. Oh, he gets his ankle in the back. Man, I hope he's okay. He got wrapped up in some kind of crazy fashion. He's back. Beautiful execution up to the 37. I'm sure these kids want to go to state so bad that they, they don't take themselves out of the game easily. Oh, a beautiful hole. That's a breakout speed I told you about. Can't let that guy get going. That number eight came in there like a pit ball after a bone, and he took him down in one kind of quick fashion. Second and 20. Back, looking, throwing deep. He almost had that. My son was a heck of a running back. Some of you guys might like to see his footage, Abe Willows. He averaged over 12 yards a carry for the Lake Travis Cavaliers. And if he had a line like Duncanville, he would have been averaging 20 yards a carry. Beautiful. Decorium Moore. That was an astute tackle.
No spot to ball left. Fourth and 11. It looks like they have a good kicker. No, they're going to go for it. They're probably just trying to draw them off. No, they're going. I don't think you got it. They gave it to him. The end of the half, folks. That's the end of the half. Well, here we resume. This, what a booming kick. There's our score. 14 to 21 as the second half begins. Well, we've got a big third down and two. Should be no problem for Duncanville, but we'll just have to see. That front line is so incredible. I think every one of those guys will go to the next level, probably D1. I think he scrambled forward. Durham goes enough for the first down. Kind of a under the armpit scrambling drive. Throws it away. Duncanville on the march. Oh, he's got too much space. What a run. Oh, my gosh. High five, baby, number one. There is a flag on the play, guys. That's coming back, but that was a thing of beauty. He had an incredible return that was almost to the house that was brought back. And now that, oh! Those are so dangerous. That was number 18, Jordan James on the pick. The 10 Mustangs after a heck of a run. He plows his way up to the about the 14 and a half. Karen Simpson on the stop. Okay, we got a second and eight. Per That'll be a personal foul, bringing it first and goal. Face mask. Not quite. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. That was a good stand by that Duncanville defense. Wow, that was a huge stand by Duncanville to uh, limit this to a field goal try. That should be a first down, man. He was way off sides. Maybe it's not first down. Maybe they just gave him five. Stop short.
So the ball did change hands, and I was. So the ball did change hands. The back got six on the first down carry. Caden Durham on the carry. Sorry for uh, pausing the uh, film for a second. That almost looked like a turnover, didn't it? Here's the ball out to the 19-yard line. I'm sorry about that, guys. We got a live feed going on, too, and I did not get that exceptional run very well for you. Good pursuit by the, the lineman, Nehemiah Allen on the stop. That will stop short. That'll be fourth down situation. There was a flag on the play and it's very critical. But no, it's on Duncanville. Now, instead of taking the uh, fourth down situation, they're going to give them another chance backed up 10 yards. I think if it was me, I'd almost just uh, had them punt. Too many weapons over there. Yep. Number four is one of them. Number four more. He's a good receiver. Oh, that was great. That guy's got great hands. Great hands. And the defense holds firm. They will have to punt. Beautiful sight. A punter back there by the G. Not a very big punt. They'll have to be careful. It's a great Duncanville bounce, but that was probably smart just to stay away from that one. Looks like that might be the running back with a cramp. The saddest moment of my life, my son was a big star for Lake Travis, bigger star than Baker Mayfield was. And he was projected to be the all Central Texas player of the year. But in front of 10,000 people at Westlake, he tore his ACL. That's their, that's their back. Oh man. Sorry to see that. Second and six. Oh, he looked like Lamar Jackson, but it wasn't enough. There's our score, and it's a big third and 11. Oh, he couldn't quite haul it in. What a beautiful catch by number three. Catches a line drive punt, pushes forward. There's the tail of the tape. Duncanville's got the ball again. It's almost done. And that was enough for the first down. Duncanville on the march, 36 yard line. Oh! Oh, it's loose and Sting's got the ball. Ref is 
calling incompletion, but it sure looks Coming like a fumble to me. Now, did y'all think that was a pass? It didn't look like a pass to me. They said that was an incomplete pass. It looked like a fumble to me. Headlong into the end zone front. It looked like a fumble to me on that. They called it a perfectly pass. Now it's a Duncanville fumble. And that's the part is good. Duncanville on the board with a 38. Now they're going to do a backflip. It's really pretty cool to watch. in question whether it was a forward pass or a fumble that will be coming out Jonathan Demas will tee it up. Well, Abe finally made it to the 18. Back deep to receive. Number one, Hockville Turner. Number three, Damian Lewis. They gave the ball to Abe, and he took it 87 yards to the house, and after that, he was always the starter on Lake Travis. Except. Got a man needing a little stretching out down there. That was number one, Montrell Turner on the carry, and what a carry it was. Looks like a hammy crap, get him some Gatorade. One of their really big guys coming off. Boy, as big as that. Let's go, D! big as that line is they, they need every big guy they can muster well score 21 28 Duncanville trying to add more on oh he bounces off him a great pursuit this guy in the red shoes has really been doing a job on the stop. If any of you scouts are watching it, play it on the play. I hope you caught that name because that was an insane defensive play. Third and 12, there's a flag, flag a small flag. start. Well, this is something we're new that we're doing, folks. We're doing a live feed for you. There's 196 people watching right now. Number one just can't quite grab it. I'll bring up a punt. Good punt. 
Let it go. Oh no, it takes a bad bounce for the Stangs. Boy, that pins them really, really deep. There's the score. They need a power back right about now. They need a grinding 230 pound power back. Gain of one brings it out to the three. Hey, he gets a good gain on that play. That was some good play action fake. I almost didn't know where Adam the ball was Adam myself. up to about the 21. Third and six, and what a big third and six with 7.22 remaining, 21 to 28. Stangs driving. He launches it deep to four. He's got it! Up to the 45, John Palama. They quick snap it. Somebody loses their helmet, and they're still dogpiled. Remember that? That was a pretty good dogpile there. Do you remember that as a kid? Dogpile! Man, I've been under them dogpiles. I also Andy been on Adams. top of them. On the carry, three-yard gain. He's stopped by number 10, Jaquan Simpson. Okay, we've got... Second and seven on the 43. Design quarterback run goes nowhere. Somebody's saying fumble, but I think it was down. Look at this, folks. We're also doing a live feed. We have 248 people watching. That's because our live feeder is so pretty. Go, baby! I'm not sure if that was enough to move the chains or not. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. What do we got? Looks like an offensive pass interference, the way those white, white outs are pleading. This could be huge, what is it? That'll be 15 on the defense. That band is intentionally trying to be really, really loud right now. It's not even a song, it's just absolute noise. Okay, everybody, let's play Jet Blast Decibels. First down, he gets hammered, but he's up to about the seven. We've got 442 remaining first and goal for the Mustangs. Dropped in the backfield. Oh, 
I'm getting a kick out of this band because they are playing absolute jet blast decibels. Hear it? It's legal. They are the 12th man. Oh no, delay of game. Oh no. First and ten for the Panthers at the twenty. Uh oh, there's a flag. Staying seemed to feel that was against Duckinville. First and fifteen, three thirty six remaining. Boy, that was a good burst. Did you see him time it and then burst through the hole? That's a good running back right there. 243 remaining. Third at about four and a half. And a costly offsides penalty moves them forward. Oh, that's a fast, good burst. I love watching a running back with a good burst through the A gap or B gap. Because that's the kind of running back that my son was. And that's the kind of running back that you need. Because it's all about the explosiveness as a running back. Don't really matter, matter how far, how fast you are in the 40 yard dash. As much as it matters how fast you are in the eight or ten yard dash. My son could broad jump over ten feet so he had a good explosiveness. With 151 remaining it's third and three and a half. There is a flag on the play, and the outcome of the flag could be the outcome of the game, because that run would obviously kind of seal it for Duncanville. Mustangs take a deep breath of relief. I own a huckleberry business. It's a purple berry. I like this guy's get up. And a big third and three and a half. He's off to the left. The defense is closing and he misses. He's around and he's going off to the races. Ten, five. He's in! And there's another flag on the play. There's 127 left in the game. That run came back with another penalty. 127 remaining, third and five. 127 remaining, third and five. Well, 
What a great game this has been. Well, let's see if there's a penalty on that one. No penalty there, folks. That was such a good fake, I was on the wrong man with my camera. Got a down player there. My heart really goes out to every down player because I've been a 17 year long parent of uh, running back. Kneels down. They're smelling victory. Duncanville is smelling victory. Minute six remaining. Well, it's been a great game though, hasn't it, folks? Wonderful entry in the catalog of great UIL playoff games. I told my wife she can just sit right there on that stool and we'll get out of here quicker.